needs to create the objects for the top of the journal and you can either um, sculpt them yourself or buy the molds at Michael's and then you condition the black clay and roll it out in your pasta machine and then I always uh, roll it on some crinkled aluminum foil and uh, you press the rolled pasta into it and it gives it a nice um, kind of a leather texture. Make as many um, objects as you want. This is sort of an ocean themed journal cover so I'm making fish and turtles, uh, seashells, so make as many as you want or you feel that you need for the top of your journal. Depends how big the journal is. To glue your items, just use a uh, sculpting bacon bond and it's something that can be baked, so it's perfect for this project. And when you've made as many starfish and fish as you need, then you can start assembling your cover and um, design it the way you want. When you're finished designing, then you can use um, some pigments or powders and brush those on and um, incorporate different colors. I'm using Pearl X, which they're really wonderful, they're iridescent, and I got them at Michael's. So I just kept adding purples and pinks and greens and um, uh, use your own imagination and um, just make it look pretty. I added rhinestones and you can add uh, buttons or jewelry findings, uh, anything shiny or pretty, and uh, just have fun, go with the flow, whatever ideas come to you, just try them out. Once you've completed your cover, you bake it and then you can glue it onto your sketchbook with um, E6000 or some strong adhesive, and then at the very end, I added a little layer of glaze just for protection. It's not really necessary, but I wanted to, and it's a sculpy glaze that I use, but you can also use varathane or whatever you have in the house. So thanks a lot for watching.